It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. In the summer of 2012, I was invited by Brains Brewery to brew a beer with them. It didn't have a name. But they just installed a craft brewery at their plant, at their brewery in the centre of Cardiff. Uh, the, the old brewery now in the centre of Cardiff. And that beer was going to be brewed once. It was never going to be brewed again because it was 6% ABV. And I went away thinking, okay, we done a great job there because um, I was happy with, with the brew day. Um, me and Bill Dobson, the head brewer of Brains, were very happy with our day's work. Uh, I kind of heard nothing for a month. I heard nothing for a month. And I was called back into the brewery. Uh, and we went into somewhere called the Crayshaw Rams, which isn't around anymore. And I was I walked through the door of the Crayshaw Rams, uh, or the Crochet, Crayshaw, um, whatever it was called. Um, and it was their kind of like brewery trap, where they trialled and they had their guests in and they had fun in, in this bar with no till. You just enjoyed some of the brains beer um, from their hospitality type of thing. So I went in there and uh, all smiles. Um, the beer that we produced uh, was one of Brain's fastest selling beers in the last 50 years. And of course, um, I was taken aback by that. I was kind of over the moon by that because it was like, oh yeah, this is brilliant, fantastic. And that beer, we, we, we then spoke with the marketing team of Brain's Gavin and Stacey was just becoming a thing. And we decided to call the beer Barry Island IPA. That was 12 years ago. 12 years ago. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see. Let me show you. There you go. Have a look at my belly. Um, there we go. Got the hoodie. We're in the hoodie. Barry Island IPA. So it was a 6% ABV IPA. And what, what happened was that the students of Cardiff got hold of this beer and they were just loving it and they were sharing it with their friends technology had changed mobile phones were, were, were massive you know so relatively newish kind of like Facebooks and, and, and taps and, and, and all these other things where you could share your beer knowledge and, and it just become a thing it become a thing if you remember as well back in 2012 the IPA market as it is like right now is massive but back, back in 2012, it was tiny. The IPA market was tiny. Brewdog's Punk IPA was still a relatively small thing. It wasn't in Weatherspoons. Brewdog didn't have all their bars all over the place like they do now. Brewdog were a small microbrewery. And we, we based this beer off of this growing IPA, American IPA culture that was fast coming over from America and we rode that wave. We rode that wave really, really well. The beer went national in Tesco. Um, it was a pinch myself moment. Um, I didn't really kind of understand the magnitude of what we did because I was a carpenter back then and, and I was doing the whole YouTube thing for fun. Um, but I realize it now. I realize I realize it now, like about twelve years later, what we what we actually did, what we uh, what we created. So, um, long story short, it started off six percent ABV in a bottle. Then it then it went then it went five percent. I think one of the supermarkets wanted it kind of like at a slightly lower, and, and it was selling better at a lower ABV, so it become five. And then they realised that it was going to sell really really well if they dropped it to four point five percent ABV. So this is today's version. This is a four hundred and forty milliliter can. And I'm really proud to say that this beer is about to launch nationwide in Morrison's in the whole of the UK. So forgive me. Forgive me if I'm proud and I pulled on the hoodie and I pulled on the, the hat and I'm pouring it in the Barry Island pint glass. Forgive me for all of these things because I'm proud of this. I always have been proud of this beer. 
I've always been a Brains Brewery drinker. In fact, the reason we did the collaboration in the first place was my whole family. They were both, oh, not the one, um, the one who passed away. Both my grandparents growing up, they were Brains drinkers. They were staunch brain drinker, Brains drinkers to the fact that when they went on holiday away somewhere, the first thing my grandfather would do, he would turn to my dad and go, what are we gonna do? There's no brains here. And they'd have to drink something else. They were staunch brains drinkers. And so was my dad for a number of years. My dad's actually now a craft beer drinker. and It's quite marvelous, really. Um, he drinks a lot of craft beer now. He goes to spoons a lot, my, my, my father. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's, let's get back to the bit. So the reasons are quite apparent as to why I, I, I did this collaboration with Brains. I like the brewery. I feel like I've got an affiliation, a affiliation with this brewery. And yeah, I'm wearing the hat. So we've got a one finger, very small one finger white head on this. I have been talking, it might have been a little bit bigger. The beer's been out my fridge for about 20 minutes. So it's had time to warm up a little bit, just to experience the malt, just to get that malt warmed up a little bit, but still at a nice, decent, cool temperature. Uh, good carbonation in the glass. It's, uh, it's, I think it's a little bit darker in, in, in the liquid than what it was previously. Unless it's just, it might be, ah, no, it's, a lot of it is condensation on the glass. So yeah, no, no, it's it's about right. Amber in colour, quite clear, good carbonation. Uh, let's get the aroma then on the beer. It's still punchy. It's still punchy. It's still tropical. Bit of grapefruit, bit of orange peel. Kind of like that classic American pale ale. American pale ale kind of feel to it. A little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of a peppery spiciness on the back end. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's good. It's good. It's a it's a regional brewery producing American pale ale. You get that kind of like regional brewery, just like biscuity malt flavour coming through. That darker malt is offering up a little bit of caramel, a little bit of biscuit, and I'm fine with that because Brains did a regional brewery, aren't they? They were a traditional brewery before, you know, they did any of these things. So they used to producing beers like SA, Rev James, solid premium bitters. It's nicely carbonated. It's very refreshing. Very refreshing at 4.5% ABV. Have a look at the beer as I rock it back and forth. Have a look at that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's a well-conditioned beer. Lemon, grapefruit, spicy peppery bitterness, a nice bit of the back end, a nice bitter spicy peppery back end. Yeah, it's decent. It's really decent. I'm, I'm still... I'm still proud that this beer is exists and not only exists, there's a story about this beer. I'm gonna tell you the story in a moment, but I'm gonna give you an offer, guys. I've got a, a um, working with Brains Brewery. Um, you can order any of their beers online. And I've got 10%, a 10 discount code for you from the Brains Brewery website. It's real ale, all in capitals. Real ale in capitals, all one word. That's for 10% off 
on the store. For the online store, applies to one-time purchases. Uh, there's no minimum purchase requirement. It's for all customers. There's no uses limits, and that's probably not that bit's probably not for me. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, SA Brains Dark, Rev James, SA Gold, Barry Island IPA. Order your beer from Brains if you want. But um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention, yeah, so it's, it, this 440 milliliter can is launching into Morrison's nationwide. I think it's like something like the 15th. The 15th of September, so about a week away. Um, that's quite exciting. That's quite exciting because I remember the the national launch when it launched nationally into Tesco. Uh, there was a lot of excitement there back in 2012. But that was 12 years ago. That was 12 years ago. The beer lives on. The beer lives on, but it don't only just live on. It thrives. It's it's thriving. This beer. Of course, we've got the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special coming up 2024. Um, that's going to be great. And off the back of that, um, Brains are getting Barry Island IPA into a lot more of the kind of like the Brains, Marston's, Carlsberg pubs that, that, of course, are all over the UK. Carlsberg and Marston's have that option to take Barry Island IPA. And it's actually, it's actually doing just as well, if not a little bit better than the neck oil at the moment, Beaver Town's neck oil, which of course is a, that's a, I think that's a Heineken product. Or did Carlsberg buy Beaver Town? That's another story. Anyway, we're here to talk about Barry Island IP. And I, I'm happy with this. 4.5% ABV. I mean, we had the 6% version. Do you want to see the original bottle? Here's the original, 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 original bottle here from, that's that's 12 years old. It was still hand bottled at the brewery because we had this like wax, wax top on it. Got my signature on the back there. Um, it was originally, as I say, 6% ABV. And it was produced back then at the Brains Craft Brewery, which was on in the centre of Cardiff. Still proud, still proud. I think, I think on a personal level, yeah, it was great to produce the beer at six percent ABV, but at six percent ABV, it was never going to become a session beer. It was never going to be a beer that you go, do you know what? I'll have a four pack of this. Or maybe I'll have a six pack and I'll like the barbecue and we'll have some fun and we'll drink it all afternoon. Because you'd be burning the sausages. You really would if you if you if you tried to drink Barry Island IPA at six percent ABV all afternoon. And as you get older, and I'm experiencing this myself, as you get older, you tend to kind of lean towards more the session type beers. You I, I rather drink for longer during the daytime, because I'm asleep by nine o'clock in the night. I'd rather drink for longer in the daytime than start drinking at like seven or eight o'clock like I used to do when I was a 20 year old youngster. So I've evolved as a person over the years as well. I've evolved into more of like a barbecuing, drinking all day session drinker. And this is exactly what this has become now. A session session beer. It's good. Shall I rate my own beer? Shall I rate my own beer? I was not going to do it, but I think I want to. I think I want to rate it. You've come for the rating, so I'm going to give you a rating. It's solid. It's really solid. There's no off flavors. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no diacetyl. You know, there's, the, 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 the brewers know what to do in a brains. There's enough of a hop character there. There's enough of that kind of traditional biscuity, regional brewer biscuity malt that I like in my beer. Yeah, it's an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.